I've been talking with my little guy about how trees put on rings and how the rings will show you how old they are. He, of course, wanted to see it. So I made up a little sawing jig. I didn't show you how I do it because uh, the way I did it would have people yelling at me on the internet. So uh, magic, magic is how I did it. And then I knew I had this chunk of juniper. What I didn't realize is it had fallen off the wood pile, been dripped on for the last uh, couple of weeks, and froze itself into the ground. So the idea was to cut down through like this, but it was frozen and it was wet and it clamped on the hand saws and they plugged the kerf. I mean, it just... This video could have been titled How to Drive Yourself Absolutely Crazy or... Um, stupid things with saws, or daddy disappoints a little boy. There's a variety of titles that would have worked in this situation, to be totally honest with you. Yeah. I floundered away like that for a very, very, very long time. Until I longed for death, basically. And somebody got bored. What does it mean? Yeah, it was you, bud. And I just flailed away at this point, somewhat exasperated, and I had a, a thought, maybe I could use the limb saw. Yeah, that was actually worse than the hand saw. I don't know why, I would have thought it'd be better, but of course the curve it left was narrower, and then we had sticking problems, and yeah. Basically, I had to go a different route. So I went ahead over to the chop saw and did something I'm not going to show you because that'll make strangers yell on the internet about how you're not supposed to lift your guards out of the way and hold them up out of the way while you make cuts in order to get the depth you need. I got enough people yelling at me on the internet. So we didn't do that. But Daddy looked like a hero at this point with one piece after another coming off. But they were not smooth enough and clear enough for us to do much ring counting. And, uh, yeah, we had to do something about that. So I went ahead and put a brand new belt on the sander there and promptly plugged it by sanding bark off of cedar trees. I've never actually owned a sandpaper belt that wasn't plugged, so I really wouldn't know what I was doing with myself regardless. But we powered through all those, got some nice pretty slices there, and happy camper found out it was 81 years old. How old was it? 81 years old. Good job.